Hey guys, what's up? I am back for another update video, which I kind of am getting a little bit nervous about doing these every week because every week that I do these or every other week that I do these, I realize that I am getting closer and closer to my due date, which actually freaks me out a little bit. It actually makes me a little bit nervous, which I think is totally and completely normal. But yes, I am one week closer to delivering little sweet baby girl. But before I start anything, I want to go ahead and say thank you so much to Bloom Life for sponsoring this video. I know we actually spoke about this on the CTFXC, but I really love this company and what they do. They really focus on women's health and the health of new moms and babies and kind of bring ease to especially a new mom's life like mine because I'm a little bit frantic right now and you know, hormones and nerves are just going everywhere. What I really love is that Bloom Life really wants new moms to have more personalized information basically at their fingertips. So they've actually created the world's very first clinically validated wearable contraction device. Here is the Bloom Life sensor and what you do is you take out one of these patches and what it's gonna do is it's going to connect right into this little section right here and then the lights will show up to let you know that it is connected. Thank you for Charles being my handy dandy helper in this because I can't do all these things, I've got two arms. So you take the patch just like this. It's very light, it's really comfortable and you're gonna take one, two, three fingers down, just like that. It actually connects to an app so it keeps track of all of that data. When you connect your sensor to the patch, you're gonna go ahead and click on live and you're going to hit start to start your session and then it's going to search for your sensor and now it's going to be calibrating and it takes just like a few seconds and then once the calibrating is done and gets to 100 percent then it's going to start tracking your contractions and then you can have that and it does it at hour long increments very simple very comfortable very easy i can tell you this there are times when i feel like maybe i'm having a contraction and i'm trying to explain that feeling to char and then there's other times where I'm unsure and especially this far into my pregnancy, I think it's super important that I know what's going on with my body. If I am a little bit concerned, I can take that information and actually bring it to my doctor and we can kind of go over it together so that we're all on the same page and it actually brings a little bit more ease to my mind as well. Consider it like a validated second opinion on those what ifs, like what if that was a contraction or was it a contraction? And I try and explain that to my husband or you know my doctor and now I can have actual visual proof that, oh look, I, I did have a small contraction at that moment. I know a lot of moms, the first question they're gonna ask is, is it safe? It does not send any type of energy into the body. So it's very safe for mom and for baby. Maybe you can wear it for, you know, short periods of time or you can wear it for long periods of time. Now, Bloom Life isn't covered by insurance, but it's actually rented by the week and it's super inexpensive. It's, I know it's under $30, I believe, a week. It's really reasonable to use. So if this is something that you wanna use towards the end of your uh, pregnancy, which is what they recommend the last like six to eight weeks of your pregnancy. It's kind of the best time to really utilize this to its full benefit. If you go to bloomlife.com, you can actually get your Bloom Life kit. That includes obviously the Bloom Life sensor and the patches and you can get this into your house. You can either request it for a certain time frame. So if like you're early in your pregnancy, but you're like, oh, you know what, I really wanna try this out. I wanna check it out when I'm in my third trimester. You can go ahead and put in there that you have a certain date in mind that you wanted to receive it. Or if you want it right now, you can ask for immediate shipping and it'll come right to you. So guys, be sure to go check that out. And I will tell you that with my third trimester, this actually kind of all comes into play, especially when it comes to my changes in my body in the past couple of weeks in regards to the 34 week update. So let's continue on with that. I have definitely felt more contractions in my 34th week of pregnancy than I did previously. It's nothing to be concerned about. They're very natural. They're very uncommon, meaning like they're not something that happens every 10 minutes or every five minutes or 300 times a day. It's nothing like that. Funny thing with my 34 week update is I've been getting nosebleeds, not like crazy often, but I've been getting them again in the third or this past week, which I thought was kind of unique and different. But here's another change that I thought was kind of crazy from this week to last week. It's the fact that my varicose veins, so obviously I have them, um, they were very like 
bulgy, like most of the beginning of my third trimester and end of my second trimester. But now they've kind of, they're still there, but they're not as bulgy and they don't hurt as bad, which is weird. Like I wasn't expecting that. It's interesting. I, maybe I'm just having a good week, but I feel very positive about this week. I've been very tired, but I feel like I've had more energy than I've had before, which is very interesting to me. I'm sleeping less, but I feel better in the morning. Like it doesn't make any sense. It's very weird. I feel like next week's gonna change. It's gonna flop back. I, I feel like that's what this whole like trimester is about is not making sense. It's your body just has no idea really what's going on because there's so many changes that are definitely happening. I think that my body is just kind of maybe just going a little crazy right now. It just doesn't know what it wants or how it wants to feel. Oh, another update that has nothing to really do with my body, but something that I'm very excited to share with you guys is that the nursery is almost done. I'm so excited. I think it should be done in the next like maybe two days, three days tops. We're hoping, keeping our fingers crossed. And once we do that, I'm definitely gonna be doing a nursery reveal. So that's a really awesome little update. And we have finally, I believe, like we're like 90, 90, I, I wanna say 95% sure about this, that we have finalized baby girl's name. And we really tossed and turned with it because we loved it so much that we're like, maybe we love this name too much. And maybe we decided on this way too early before we even knew we were having kids that it's gonna backfire and we're not gonna like it down the road. But I'm pretty positive that we have figured out baby girl's name. I am not gonna give that to you guys yet. We are actually gonna release her name after she's born. So you're gonna have to wait for that. What else? Let's see, what else has been going on? Appetite's not really different. I, I feel like so many people say there's so many changes that happen with them in regards to pregnancy, like, you know, cravings and body changes and, you know, a lot of things that I was expecting to go through that I have not really experienced. She's a very active baby and uh, she still, like I said, uh, for the 32 week update, she I think is on more of a sleep schedule. So I've noticed that she moves a lot, but she's not as kicky. She doesn't kick as much. She doesn't jab as much. I think she's understanding her reflexes a little bit more. That happens at nighttime and that might be one of the reasons as to why I don't sleep very well at night. We had a appointment this past week and she is right on track. All my measurements are great. Everything in regards to belly is great. Clothes are definitely still not fitting and I'm just, I won't, I don't want to buy anything else. So I am really trying hard not to do that. I don't think that I have had or developed any stretch marks. I've been using some really wonderful products and I've been making sure that I am really lubricating up my skin every night, every day, sometimes doing it three times a day just to make sure. I will be doing a pregnancy must have video very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. So like I said, not too many crazy changes have been happening with this week of pregnancy. So I can say that my nerves are a little bit more extreme <laughs> over the past two weeks since the last time we chatted. Uh, I'm getting excited, nervous. We did a walkthrough at uh, where I'm going to be giving birth and it uh, really made it very real and clear to me that this is happening very, very soon. So that was a little scary, but I'm excited and I know I can do it. And I know that I'm gonna have a great husband and great family right there by my side. So. I don't know, I'm excited to meet her, but I'm terrified. And before I go guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you what you came here for, which was the bump update. So you can see the baby bump and uh, the progression. I can't tell, I can't really tell if I look any different. I feel like she's obviously gotten bigger because I can feel her inside of me, but I, visually I can't tell if I look any different, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. gonna do it for today thank you so much for watching please do not forget to go ahead and check out bloomlife.com and you know check this out try it out in your last trimester I think it's gonna be really awesome and very very comforting for you let me know if you like it I will see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>